Hey everyone, Peter here with the Citrus Bros and tonight I'm going to be making a quick video tutorial showing you how to fix the most recent Windows update disaster as if it doesn't happen every day uh, with the audio. So, you know, I just kind of came home and I tried to use my laptop and, you know, I didn't, I didn't really need sound but then I tried to like watch a video and I noticed like the sound thing was gone. Um, and this was because of Windows updates yesterday, um, October 11th. Just like my other video about the photo issue, also Windows updates, just like 99% of your issues on your computer you will ever have that happen out of nowhere, Windows updates, um, and the other 1% is basically user error, you know. Um, yeah, I really hate those Windows updates, but basically what happens is if, you know, it messed up, you're going to see this little thing where your sound's supposed to be right there. It's, it's going to be a little red X. And that's just saying your computer doesn't have speakers. So it physically, you know, it, it, it thinks, the computer thinks is you don't have any type of sound. So it, it's really stupid, but you know, Windows Update tends to do a lot of stupid things. So I didn't really read through this, but it looks like a lot of people are having the issue. So hopefully I can help, you know, you guys out, um, just like with my other video. But the first method is, I think that's what they talk about. If you just right click on this here and I think they try to make it more complicated. You do device manager and you want to open up sound, video and game controllers. Uh, you should see two, maybe three. So the blue snowball is my microphone. The other two is, uh, you know, the actual sounds. And what you want to do is if you just right click. Oh, now my, yours might have like a little yellow triangle next to it. Uh, saying that there is an error since I just fixed mine um, It doesn't so you want to right click and do uninstall device for both of them um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do it because it might mess a couple things up since I'll be showing a different method But what you do is you just do uninstall to actually let's just go ahead and do it So I'm just gonna go ahead and do an install device and yeah, just hit uninstall. It'll take a second and Then it's gone. What you want to do is you want to do action scan for hardware changes and as you can see it found it put it back over here and it's going to go ahead and install it takes a couple seconds pretty simple step you can do this for the realtek audio too um there we go so now it's all good uh this is <clears throat> sorry this is also a pretty good method to troubleshoot other things like if your built-in camera isn't working or bluetooth isn't working just a quick way of troubleshooting things if it doesn't pop up right away you might want to restart your computer but if this works great you know, if not, I'll be showing another method because it might work for some people, it might not for others. So, close out of that and the nice thing is because I have a Dell, uh, honestly, I hate Dell, but <laughs> it was a good price so I got their laptop. But yeah, if you if you have Dell, they have the support thing, you can just click detect and it's going to find all the drivers you need. But for a lot of them, the audio driver is general, this real tech. Uh, high definition audio driver so you can download it off the Dell's website if you have another computer you can of course search it up uh, one thing you want to do before that is if you go into apps and features you just want to delete the old one real real oh yeah there we go so yeah it's a little kind of crab little blue crab and you want to delete the high definition audio driver you might not even have it I, I didn't even have mine um, because of the error that happened so just delete it that way you know you're not installing it on top and then just kind of causing more issues so once you install that you want to go ahead and find the new driver and like I said you know if you just copy and kind of paste this you can even like go on Google if you search it like real tech high definition audio driver and yeah, just make sure you don't do any of these like weird websites. Just do like the legit website. Um, I used the real tech website before and sometimes it might just take a couple troubleshooting. You know, you might want to do a couple different drivers, but usually you can get it on the first try because they are pretty general for all computers. So we'll just, uh, it looks like this is having issues now. Um, great. Yeah, I mean, can't rely on anything these days, but let, let's see if we can find it. So let's see. Hi, 
Are you drivers? Okay, let's see if there's a different website. So downloads real tech. High definition audio codecs. I think was the first one. Okay, that's data sheets, yep. Yeah, so I mean, it's not always a one-stop thing. Yeah, and I, I think they're probably having issues right now with their website or something. Let's see. Oh, there's even a down. Oh, there we go. All right. I'll, I'll post a link for you guys so you don't have to kind of mess around with that weird glitch that was going on right there. But as you can see, it's all general. So if you do Windows 64-bit and... That's the README files, you don't need that. So the 64 bit um, or the 32 bit, most computers are 64. So just go ahead and hit global on that. And just gotta do this little capture thing. There we go. So that's about 200 megabytes. And it's actually the exact same thing I downloaded. Um, mine was, I think, it, yeah, it was the exact same thing. I just downloaded Rudell. So, I mean, I'll post both of these um, websites for you guys. I don't know if this one will work because it's kind of connected to the computer. But, yeah, I mean, I'll post the links so you guys don't have to dig through all of that. And sorry for kind of wasting two minutes of, you know, trying to find the right link. But as you can see, it's not always just as simple as it seems. But, yeah, once you download that, what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and run it. Um, it's pretty simple installation. It takes like right about a minute, not even that. And once it's done, it's just gonna ask you to uh, restart your computer. Restart the computer, you should be fine. The audio should be fixed. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of it. I mean, if you guys have any issues, let me know. I'll try to help out as much as I can. You know, with the different computers and updates going on. I, you know, I might not be able to help everyone, but uh, I'll use my knowledge. And if anything, maybe other people on the forum or on the video will help you out in the comments. As always, make sure you like my video, comment, and subscribe. Um, I, I always say I'm going to make new videos soon, and I kind of lie and slack on that because I get busy with classes. But I was thinking of making a new video series for computers, calling it Window uh, PC Essentials. Kind of showing you some of the nice tricks that are good to know for everyone. And some good programs to have, like anything from, you know, cleaning your viruses uh, to just maintaining and, you know, cleaning up extra space. Uh, and, and like I said, a couple tips and tricks, troubleshooting tricks to kind of help you get some general knowledge about your computer and to be able to fix a lot of the simple issues, kind of like this by yourself. So you don't have to, you know, dig through all these forums where, like, for example, people say it doesn't even work uh yeah so that that way you can have some more experience but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling on i actually gotta run catch the bus here in a couple minutes so as always thanks for watching guys and hope this video helps goodbye